Hi, welcome to Guitar Education. So today we're going to talk about the difference between the seventh chord and then the major seventh chord. So we can hear that there's a difference. So we're going to clear up exactly why there is a difference right now. So first thing we have to understand really when we're talking about chords in general is you really have to understand scales. And understanding scales is going to make a big difference in understanding chords. So here we have the G major scale. All right, so if you look, we have eight notes in our scale. Okay, so that's how we would play the scale. So if you don't know the scale, go ahead and practice it. But if you do know the scale, that's great. So I, what I also did here was I numbered, I lettered each note in the scale so you know which each name of the notes are. So we have a G as our first note. A is our second, B is our third, C is our fourth, D is our fifth note of the scale, E is the sixth, F sharp is the seventh, and G is the eighth. So for, right off the bat, we can see that, um, you see I underline these here, our first note, the third note, and the fifth note of the scale are all underlined. And that's because normally when we make, when we form chords on any instrument, um, that can make play chords. What happens is we use the first, the third, and the fifth to create that chord. So for instance, because we're in G major, the first, the third, and the fifth will make a major sound. So the G, B, and D. And that's the first three notes of this G major chord. So, and that's that. Now, what happens is every once in a while someone wants to throw in a, an added note. And what they like to do a lot is the seventh chords, right? So if we add in this F sharp, because it's the seventh note on the scale, what happens is we add that in. But we call this a major seventh, and it's because it's actually in the major scale. It's the seventh note of the major scale, so we call that the major seventh. So. But what happens a lot is that people end up playing like this G7 and this seventh note here is an F, not an F sharp. It's supposed to be that note, so we get this sound, but instead we play an F and we have this strong sounding seventh note. So it stands out. Okay, so when we play this F, instead of the F sharp, we call this, this is called in music theory, dominant seventh. And if you just listen to it, that note really dominates the sound. It dominates it very strongly, so it gives like this real uh, definite funky sound, or something that just kind of stands out n more so than normal. When we play like the F major seven, or I'm sorry, the G major seven, it fits in with it better. So it doesn't have that tension that this G7 has. Really, and that's really the only difference between the seventh chord and then the major seventh chord. It's just taking that seventh note and just lowering it a half step. Or in, or in the case of a guitar, it would be one fret lower. So you can take any seventh chord that you have that you know like a, those would be the dominance of like a, let's say an A7, right? So the A7, and then we just move that seventh note up one fret, and now we have the major seventh. So you can try that out. Some people play A7 like this with their pinky, and if you just reach that pinky over one fret higher, you get that major seventh. So you can do this with any chord as long as you know which note is the seventh note of the chord and then you can just either add one fret up or go one fret down to change it from either the major seventh to the dominant seventh and when we use the dominant seventh we just call it seven we drop off the dominant part that way we understand the difference between major seven is always add major in front of it and then dominant seventh is just called seven so like a seven right, or uh, e seven those are all dominant seventh chords, right? But if you just add 
one note to it, like one, or go one fret up, then you have that major seventh. So I hope that clears that up at least a little bit. So that way you, you can mess around with the different sounds of these, of these chords, and then you can create new things. I like these dominant seventh chords because they, they always change. Like if we're playing something, it, it feels like we're going into a new part now. So I like using those dominant seventh chords as a transition, a little songwriter tip. Uh, but, you know, I also love the way these major seven chords sound. They have like, a, like an elegance to them that, you know, like the, the dominant sevenths don't really do. So I really enjoy those, playing both of them for different reasons. But I hope that helps at least clear that up a little bit, the difference between that that major seventh chord and then the one that's just called seventh chord. So, and that's uh, that's pretty much it. So if you didn't know the scale, go ahead and practice the scale, have some fun with that, and then look at what you can do with it. All right, thanks for watching.